Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm doing this quite fun party look. There's, so I've got glitter in the inner corner, which I don't normally do, and this is slight first impressions as well with one of the products. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to take my collection last reflection concealer to add to my primer today. And the palette I'm using is the Nip and Fab palette today. So first of all, I took this kind of neutral skin tone shade just to set the concealer in place. Then taking the more orangey shade to act as my transition. Funny enough, I'm actually using the brush from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette that I recently got for my birthday. And I did do one video on it. I have to say, considering palette brushes I don't really like, this palette, this brush I really, really enjoyed. So I use this pretty much for the entire look. So I'm just using the fluffy end just to help blend out this transition shade. Then I'm going with this kind of light neutral brown shade. It's kind of more on the cool tone side, using this through the crease and also onto the lid slightly as well. Then taking this brown shade here, which I think has a, a slight purple undertone to it, which I really like. And again, I'm kind of putting it in the similar place I put that last shade, but not quite as high up. And mainly focusing it onto the lid portion. Again, using the same brush. Then taking the darker shade and really focusing this on the outer section of the eye. Using the flat end of that brush first, and then I move on to the fluffy brush to help blend out. And then I go in the lighter shade in this palette and pop it on the inner section of the lid just to act as a blank canvas for the glitter I'm about to use. So this next bit is the first impressions. I saw this on, well I first saw it on Facebook and I keep seeing it on Instagram right and I thought I'd give one a go. Um, and it's from the brand Glitter Eyes. So I'm going to be playing with glitter today which I'm really excited about. So these are pressed pigments and they are vegan, cruelty free. So, which makes it obviously extra perfect. Um, I've just seen so much about them. I've seen those pictures and some swatches of like the products they do, and they look incredible. And I have got a series of videos planned that will start kind of I think end of August time, and these would be perfect if they were really work. I can't remember how much off the top of my head they were. Either something like five ninety nine or seven ninety nine, which I don't think is a bad price for a glitter, because um, they give you a little palette with it as well to stick it in which is magnetic which I think is really good it is cardboard but it's quite sturdy um, and yeah magnetic so it's quite cool um, and it's a high sparkle glitter makeup that glides on without the need for adhesive which is great because I didn't pick up any of their lash the um, glue but this is one this is a loose one so it's fine proof long lasting and non irritating formula easy to remove with regular eye makeup remover so it sounds great so I got it in the shade so it's this beautiful kind of purple, it's got some iridescence in there. Again, I can't remember what the shade is. Watch. Unicorn wings, that's what it's called. So I can only tell it's going to get a little bit messy, so I'm just going to quickly pop it straight into the... Oh, perfect. So it's magnetic, it's all in there, it looks so beautiful. I'm going to do a quick swatch, so I don't need... Ooh, okay. Yeah, very messy. That's what it looks like, it's pretty cool. So, I have to say I'm very glad I did my eyes first and not my face because I feel there's going to be a lot of fallout with this one. So, I'm going to take it. So, I'm just going to use this is a sort of super drug brand, this is just a flat brush. I'm going to, it says you can use your finger or a brush, I'm just going to use a brush. I've actually got glitter everywhere, just like that. And then let's have a little see what it's like on the eyes. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to pat, ooh, pat it on. That is very pretty. Very pretty. Like I said, it is, I'm not going to lie, quite messy. But let's just pick up a bit more. Like I said, I've got a series of videos planned, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'm going to pre-record them because I've tried it before in the past and it didn't, I kind of ran out of time. This time pre-recording and these glitters would be perfect. Oh my goodness, that is actually so pretty. Like it's got purple, uh, purple undertone, but there's gold in there. I can see some blue. It's just so pretty. 
I think it'd look even better if it was like um, either a purple or a blue sh eyeshadow underneath, but um, I didn't really think about that at the time. But still, without the eyeshadow underneath, this looks incredible. It's amazing how well it's also adhered to my eyelid, obviously without any glue, but it does say that what it's for. Great they are, waterproof, I think it's perfect. So if you're a fest, I'm not really a festival person, never actually been to a festival, but if you are someone who does like to go to festivals and are a festival person, then these are going to be great for you. And like I said, I can't remember, are this $5.99 or $7.99? And I don't think that's a bad price either way at all. So that's what it looks like on the eyes. I think that's so pretty. Definitely would do the eyes before the face makeup because there was a little bit of fallout, especially under the eyes. But yeah, I love how it can hear really nicely without glue. It's supposed to last really long. And that's definitely a really pretty colour, really easy to apply. I think also great for festival looks, like I said. I'm definitely going to get my hand on some more of these because I definitely think I need these for some certain videos I've got planned coming up. So this one is unicorn wings and I think it's really beautiful. Okay, so I'm moving back to the face. I'm taking my 100% Pure Lumis Primer to prime my skin as always. Then going on my Kiko Second Skin Foundation in, I can't remember what it's called now, Neutral, I think it's 05. I can't remember the shade name, but it's definitely number 05, I'm pretty sure. I'm just buffing this into the skin. It's quite a lightweight foundation, not so much coverage, but I quite like that, to be honest. Then going back in my collection, but concealer to conceal under my eyes, spots, and then to also just kind of act as a slight highlight along with the T-zone as well. Okay, to set everything, I'm actually going with my Makeup Gallery powder. This is the one from Poundland, but I actually really, really like it. So, there you are. A pound, and it's really quite nice. So I just set all the areas that I put concealer like I always do. Then going back into that palette, I'm taking that same kind of purpley brown shade I used earlier on my Lily Lolo tapered blending brush and blending this along the lower lash line. Then going with a darker shade and again just putting this along the lash line. I'm taking my little definer brush so it's quite close to the lash line. Then I take a bit more of that glitter to act as my inner corner highlight. I thought it kind of looked quite cool. Especially as I've already got a little bit of uh, glitter under the eyes as well. I thought it was mine as well. Just continue. Then for some reason I decided I wanted to add a pop of colour. So I took the Kiko. It's one of the Kiko eyeliners. And it's this blue shade. I thought it actually worked quite well in the waterline. And then I'm taking my collection double-ended Volume Max um, mascara. So first I'm priming... And then I go in with the scar and just give my upper and lower lashes a couple of coats. And obviously you can go with false eyelashes, I don't tend to do that, so I've just left it as it is. Then go in with my Kiko Sculpting Cream Stick and I'm just going to pop this in my contour areas and then blend out. This blends really nicely. I have to say. Definitely works better with more of the sponge than the brush. The brush blends it out a bit too much, but the Beauty Blender blends it out just enough. Then going my sleek California uh, blush kit, I'm taking that orangey shade and using it as my blusher today. I have to say, I've got to get rid of that beauty blend, it's so dirty now. Uh, and then I'm going with my Kiko Dewy Sticks. This is the one where it's got no pigment, no glitter, no nothing. It's just pure, kind of like a balmy texture. And it gives this perfect, kind of almost wet finish to the skin. I think it looks really pretty. Then I'm going with my Freedom Fixing Spray just to quickly set everything in place. Then I'm going with MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer. Um, I can't remember the shade off the top of my head, but I will have it linked down below. And I thought this colour paired perfectly with the look. So that's the look complete. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you've tried the Glitterized Glitter, let me know your thoughts on it and what colours I should try next. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.